The real reason for the Paris bedbug situation should have all of us worried. The bedbugs that have been spotted in their public transit, movie theaters, and even the airport are literally built different, as in they've evolved to be resistant to pesticides. And this is all happening during Paris Fashion Week, which experts are predicting might become a super spreader event once everyone flies home. The idea of a bedbug super spreader event is literally the stuff of my nightmares. Bed bugs been around for thousands of years, some think millions of years, and have been a problem for people that whole time. So while bed bugs themselves don't spread disease, they have kind of co-evolved with humans to be a very specific parasite to us for our blood, what's called like an ectoparasite. And while you might think that since they've been around for so long, we kind of just know what to do about it, we don't because they're really good at being the parasites that they are. So for one, they only come out at night. They are most active, I think sometime between like three and six in the morning. And that's when you might actually see them crawling down the walls from your ceiling fan or crawling out from a spine of your book or coming out of your nightstand to feed on you. And that's kind of the only time you will see them if you don't have a major infestation. So two, they only need to eat like once a week. They're not like mosquitoes where if you're trapped in an elevator with a mosquito, he might bite you three, four times before you get out of there. You get one bite in that week and then you might not see them. It becomes harder to catch them early on if there's only a few of them and they're not biting you that often. But that's when you need to catch it. Like that's when it has to happen because if you don't catch it then, then it becomes the stuff of nightmares. So as I mentioned, they don't spread disease, but they breed pretty rapidly and they're really hard to kill. And they're also really hard to find. So if you can't catch them early and they can breed quick enough to hide in literally anything you own, the seams of your jeans, your phone, your computer, your nightstand, your diary, your favorite book, the cap of a pen, a flower, they will hide there and they will wait. You can't starve them out. They go dormant. They go dormant for like 300 days if they don't get a meal. If you get lucky, you starve them before they become adults. But otherwise, no, they'll just wait. They'll wait for you. Oh, and you think you're going to just go sleep in another room? No, they can travel about 100 feet and they can track you based on your breath and your body heat. So they'll just like crawl around until, you know, catch, catch your, literally catch your breath on the wind and find you and drink you slowly. On top of all of this, they're like actually really hard to kill. They're tiny. They're like really, really thin if they haven't fed. So you can't really just like smash one. Like if you try and they've gotten good at like, I know there's some personal experience where like you try to smash one and they're like, I'm just going to sit here and pretend like I'm dead. See, I'm not dead. Like they do that. It's can't drown them. Can't drown them. A lot of poisons don't work. And that's only on the live bugs. We're not talking about the eggs yet. Most chemicals that aren't going to you probably aren't gonna mess with those eggs. One of the best ways to deal with those is heat. And you may have heard or read or seen people talk about, oh, throw your stuff in the dryer, or put it in your car on a hot day. Yeah, actually, that is like the one weakness that these little shit stains have is in fact heat and it kills the eggs. Even if you manage to get rid of bed bugs, you can never be sure. You can never be sure. Especially if you had like a bad case of bed bugs, there could always be an egg. And the next thing you know, you've got bed bugs again. Now I'm never going to Paris. Nope, not doing it. You can't get rid of them. Paris has got to burn. <laughs> In short, bed bugs are like actually a problem and they're not like a problem related to hygiene or lifestyle. It literally, it's just a roll of the dice sort of situation. Make it a point not to wear your clothes from outside anywhere that you sleep because really what you wanna make sure you avoid is an egg getting off your clothes and onto somewhere that somebody sleeps. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower because this video made me itchy. Until next time, Skim Thug.